Hey, what's up my YouTube beautiful sisters? This is me, your girl, Reese 812 Coming today because I am braiding my, the front of my hair over. Well, I ain't going to say the front, y'all. I'm braiding the edges over. I had my micro braids in now for a month and a half. So, um, the edges, well, the whole head is getting kind of nappy. So, I'm going to braid the front over so, you know, it can cover up the back a little bit. You know, that's the trick. When you don't feel like taking out your braid, just get the edges done over so you can make it still look fabulous in the front. But in the back, it look ratchet, okay? But anyways, um, I have braided this much so far. Like I said, I'm just doing the edges. I'm not trying to do the whole thing. Just the edges, something I can use. I usually wear it in a ponytail, so something I can just pull it back and it still look fresh in the front. I already took out, I'm taking them out. When I do my edges over, I usually just take out um, one braid at a time because I never know when I'm going to get tired and I stop. So I take out one braid at a time, then I rebraid it as I go. Um, I already took out one here. If you can see this, I already took out one here. Then I kind of comb, finger comb it a little bit. Because like I said, it, it, it has been in a month. I use the same hair. Um, I would have used my new hair, but I left it at the house. So I'm using the same hair. So it already has a bent in it. Like this. What I do to braid, I just grab the hair and I split it into three. That's what I do. I know it's a lot of different methods and techniques out there on how to braid hair. But this is how I do it. I split it into three like this. This one, two, three. Okay? See that? Two long pieces. And then the short piece. So, I then grab the hair. I'm trying to look, y'all, and show y'all at the same time. And wrap it around. And you want to get as tight, um, close to the scalp as possible. Another thing I like about braiding my own hair is I know how tight or how loose I would like it. So, you know, I know when to loosen up or I know when to when to go tighter. Definitely don't let people be braiding your hair all tight. So when y'all take them out, y'all don't have no edges. And when you're taking them out, definitely be careful taking your braids out because you don't want to, you know, rip out your edges or anything like that. You want to just make sure you got a good foundation down there. Then I have to do this for y'all because I braid <laughs> backwards. So I have to flip it around. And I'm kind of slow today because I got nails on and usually I don't. So, and I just braid it on down. Now, believe it or not, I don't know how to knot my ends. And I will say that's because of just being lazy and not trying to learn how to do it. But of course, I know there's so many videos on here. Um, to show you how to knot your ends, but I don't know how to do mine, um, so I just kind of braid mine further down so they can kind of last longer. So I'm just braiding it down, as you guys can see. And that's that one. And this is how this side is looking. I do have another one out that I'm going to braid to. But this is how this side is looking. You can see the difference from this side <laughs> to this ratchet side. The fabulous side, the ratchet side. So definitely, like I said, if you want your um, braids to stay in longer, do your edges over and you'll be good to go. This is the second time of me doing my own braids, believe it or not. I just don't like, I just, the timing, it's like too much, but, you know, if I have to do it, I will. I have braided a couple of people here in my family, but I'm not, you know, I don't braid people here. But, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing a little side thing. You know we're in a recession, so anything to make some money, y'all. So, the same thing, again, I take it into three. If anybody have any questions about what am I doing, because I know I'm not a good instructor, but definitely you can ask me. Trying to turn my head so you can see. Just braiding tight down to the scalp. Close, I mean, to the scalp. And 
and these nails are really slowing me down, y'all, because I can really braid fast, like, really. But I want to be fast and get nails on, and as you can see, I took this one off just so I can braid my hair. I know, y'all, that's just backwards. I can't be doing this stuff in this recession, getting nails on and taking it off. That's just stupid. Y'all yeah. hear my mom calling me. One second. Okay. Yes, I came home for a minute, so. So, y'all, this is how it's going to look after you guys finish. Um, like I said, if you have any more questions about what am I doing or how I'm doing it or what kind of hair, I probably put everything in the sidebar. But as far as me being very um, instructional and trying to show you guys, I'm not that good. So, that's why I try to get close up on the camera. If you guys need to see me do it um, again in the future, just definitely let me know and I will try my best to do it. As again, let me show you how it looks the aftermath of it all I do tend to braid tight myself on my own hair as you can see that and this side like I saw the ratchet side look at look at all of this all the new growth so I, what I'm doing is just catching all the new growth so like when I pull it back you know I do enough so when I pull it back it can still look good like I just got my hair done but if you look in that middle baby ooh too much but I'm gonna talk to you guys later and let me try to finish this up I think I'm getting tired y'all and this is becoming night so I think I'm gonna end up stopping right here and do the rest tomorrow I'm just gonna be one side fabulous one side ratchet but hey we in a recession <laughs> that's my excuse for everything but I'm gonna holler at you girls and you guys later Smooches. okay y'all I'm back and I'm on my way to work so this is about to be real quick um, as you can see, I just rebraided the front over. Like I told you guys, I was going to finish it. Um, this is how it came out. Try to get close. And the only thing I did to it this morning was spray some oil sheen on it. Now, this should carry me to February, and that's what I'm aiming for before I take these out. So, it is like the first week in January, almost the second week. So, I'm going to rock these out till February. A nappy, a ratchet back, and a fabulous front. So, I just wanted to come and show you guys how you can make your micro braids last a little while longer without taking them out if you wanted to kind of stretch your relaxer a little bit more. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely just let me know. And you know I will get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, smooches.